Hey there guys, so continuing on with the squat every day program. Um, I hit the goal of 100 kilos on the front squats for 20 reps, so achieved that quite early on in the scheme of things, um, especially considering I'm going to run this for 12 weeks, so yeah, really happy with that. Um, and now I'm just trying to be more consistent with the weight at 100 kilo mark. So typically every time I've moved up, I've either stuck with that weight or if I've needed a deload day, I just, you know, squat the bar. Um, I was able to hit the 100, you know, for on Saturday for 20 reps. Um, and then the Sunday I had a deload and then Monday I hit it for 20 reps and that was after work. Considering Mondays and Tuesdays I'm laboring for bricklayers and the rest of it, um, I was really happy that I was able to get it in such a fatigued state. Then today being Tuesday, I tried it again, um, but I only got 15 reps and then had to take a short break and then get the last five. Um, I just, yeah, hadn't, I don't know, just, I wouldn't say I hadn't recovered, I would just say today I was just too tired from, um, work so overall you know that still gives me a very good glimpse at how my body's still adapting to everyday life in terms of like conditioning especially when it comes to work on the job so um not disappointed at all um i'm just gonna have to you know continue working at my fitness previously the other times you know after work i was absolutely you know destroyed so i normally just have it as a deload today i sort of thought oh look you know maybe i should just squat the bar have a rest but the other part of me is like nah just just do it um and then yeah it soon became evident that it just wasn't meant to happen so um that's you know I'm not, as I said, I'm not too disappointed, but then again, you know, I'm shedding quite a fair bit of body fat. I'm really happy with how that's all coming together, um, and that brings me to another point. You know, the leaner you are as well, the more testosterone your body produces due to, you know, hormonal changes, um, and the same thing holds true. Like, if you have more body fat, your body will actually produce more estrogen because fat cells themselves also produce estrogen so the more body fat you have um, makes it easier you know to continue to put on negative weight um, in terms of you know you just going to be storing and gaining more body fat due to the higher levels of estrogen and then it just you know compounds itself as a, a building issue versus you know if you're leaner um, you have more testosterone your body's also producing le you know, a lesser amount of estrogen as well, but um, also because you're holding less body fat, your body's going to produce an even lesser amount of estrogen, so it's a sort of a win-win situation. Also, when you get quite lean and then decide to bulk, you know, if you're in a slight calorie surplus, but you're lean, you know, the majority of the calories are going to go towards building muscle mass versus, you know, if you're already at a higher body fat percentage and you decide to bulk, well, a majority of those calories are going to probably end up being stored as body fat. So it does make a really big difference. The other thing, you know, getting leaner, um, watching your diet and the rest of it, it's going to improve your insulin sensitivity. So basically, you know, your nutrient partitioning um, becomes more effective and that's basically your body's way of, you know, sending nutrients to the muscle. So when you eat something and you spike your insulin levels, your insulin, you know, is really effective, especially after training, you know, and then it's going to be taking the, the food where it needs to go naturally. So, you know, having a high carb meal after training, getting that insulin spike works very, very well in your favor, especially if you're lean. So um, I'm just trying to get my body to the point where I can take advantage of everything properly. Um, and that's why I'm essentially squatting every day as well. I mean, you work the, the biggest muscle groups in the body and you're going to, you know, lose the most amount of body fat if you think of it that way because it's the most taxing thing to do, you know, work the biggest muscle groups. Um, with the other lifts, I'm still doing them. Tomorrow i got bench press. We'll see how many reps I can get in a single set at 150. I'm trying my best to stay above 15 reps, um, but if it goes south, it goes south. You know, I'm not going to get stressed about that. Um, that's pretty much it for me for the time being. If you guys have any um, questions, feel free to comment below. If you guys haven't already, hit like and subscribe, and have a great day wherever you are.